Hi everyone, it's Chris Ward with a micro nugget on IT soft skills for certification and your resume. Okay, CBT Nuggeteers, you have your certification. Awesome. You're working at a current job, but you're maybe looking to move up the ladder. Or perhaps you've been out of work and you're trying to get back in the game. You've got your CCNA, your MCSA, your MOS, one of my personal favorites, of course, and you want to make it work for you. Well, as part of a talk I do on certification and how to use it in the real world, I focus on a few things that will help you stand out. And this is one of them. Certification and your resume. When you're dealing with career improvement or advancement, there's always going to be a time gang that you're going to use a resume or CV, as the people across the pond call it, and you're going to want to make sure your resume is up to date. I would say literally once a month, check it out. You know, add any new experiences, any new projects. Maybe you got a new certification. You've been watching CBT Nuggets. You got your MCSA or your CCNA. And what many people, though, don't do is they don't put certs on their resume correctly. Now, that doesn't mean that you guys don't put your certifications on it. It's just you might want to think about it a slightly different way. And the way I want you to think about it is use the logo. Now, a good friend of mine, Tammy, is an HR recruiter and she's got like 15 years plus experience in handling hiring for major technology. I mean, we're talking Insight and uh, CSC and I mean, really, really big companies. She knows her stuff. And I asked her recently, what amount of weight do recruiters give to certs and how to make your resume stand out? And she said, and, and I quote, I like certs and it gives me comfort that these guys and gals know what they're doing. And I also like it when they add their logos to the resume. And, you know, I don't know a lot of people know this, and maybe you do, and, I, you know, I might be speaking to the choir here, but when you pass your CCNA, your IE, your JCNE, your MCSA, whatever, you have access to a logo that you can put on your business card, or more importantly for this nugget, your resume or your CV. But that's just as important to what you put on your resume is where you put it on your resume, which is why I say also you want to relate it to your experience, okay? Put the logo next to your current job or if you're putting together an experience based project based resume attach it next to that project and say something like i use the skills required or acquired as a ccmp to install network connectivity to you know i don't know edge routers at our new site for our new company so there you have it i mean you just have added a certification and a logo to your resume you've related it to experience which is what recruiters are really looking for and you know what you've now got your resume up to date. So bada bing, bada boom. Use a logo related to experience and watch as it helps your career improve and advance. Well, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.